Oh, Jane. Well, what does it say? It is from Miss Bingley. Oh. Oh, well, that is a good sign, too. Give it to me. My dear friend. <laughs> there now. <laughs> Dine with Louisa and me today. La di da. La di da. La di da. La di da. As the gentlemen are to dine with the officers. Oh, that's unlucky. Still, you must go and make what you can of it. Yours ever, Caroline Bingley. Very elegant hand. May I have the carriage, Father? The carriage? No, indeed. You must go on horseback, for it looks like rain. Then you will have to stay the night. <laughs> Mother! Well, why do you look at me like that? Would you go all the way to Netherfield and back without seeing Mr Bingley? No, indeed. You will go on, Nelly. That will do very well indeed. <laughs> Lizzie, you see, it is all exactly as I planned. Now, let me see if I've got this right, Jane. Your mother's sister is named. Mrs. Phillips? Yes. And Mr. Phillips' estate? He is, um... He lives in Meryton. He's an attorney. And your mother's brother lives in London? Yes. In Gracechurch Street. In which part of London is Gracechurch Street, Jane? I, am. Um... Fawcett, get help. Miss Bennett is unwell. Well, my dear, if Jane should die of this fever, it would be comfort to know that it was all in pursuit of Mr Bingley and under your orders. Oh, nonsense! People do not die of little trifling colds. She will be very well taken care of. Mama, I think I must go to Netherfield. Go to Netherfield? No, there is no call for that. Jane is very well where she is. And you know there is nothing for you at Netherfield. You had much better go to Meriton with your sisters and meet the officers. Aye, Lizzie, for there are more than enough to go round. I know that Jane would wish me to be with her. I suppose that is a hint for me to send for the carriage. Oh, no, indeed, Father, for I had much rather walk. It is barely three miles to Netherfield, and I'll be back for dinner. Three miles in all that dirt, you'll not be fit to be seen. Well, I shall be fit to see Jane, which is all I want. I'm quite determined, Mother. I know, Lizzie. Lydia and I will set you as far as Meryton. Aye, let's call on Denny early before he is dressed. What shock he will get. <laughs> um... Our life holds few distinctions, Mrs. Bennet, but I think we may safely boast that here sit two of the silliest girls in the country. Look, Kitty, isn't that Captain Carter? Come on, make haste. Here, Daniel. 